My generals and angels, you know them days when everything is going well for you? You're like, yeah! I have just received a job offer from an airline. That meant free travel and loads of other perks. No lie, yo. I am feeling lucky. So I went to my favorite restaurant, Island Grill, to celebrate by myself. Oh, sad was that, yo. Anyway, getting a permanent job unexpectedly was a blessing. To God be the glory. As I sat waiting to receive my order, I couldn't help but notice a gorgeous looking girl sitting by herself in dark glasses. I was feeling lucky. So after I received my order, I walked over to her. I noticed tears falling from behind the glasses. To be honest, before I stepped to her, I had no idea how I was going to approach her. But seeing the tears, I gave her one of my napkins and said, You're looking too beautiful to be crying. She smiled, so I decided to push my luck and ask if I could sit with her. She hesitated for a bit, then she said yes. Like I said, it's my lucky day, yo. I asked her if she want to talk about it. She said she'd rather not. I noticed she didn't remove her glasses to wipe her tears. I thought that was strange. But I didn't want to be too much up in her business. We were talking as if we have known each other forever, yo. We laughed and talked for hours. I told her that I thought it was my lucky day because I was offered a job with an airline. Plus, I met her. To my surprise, she started to cry, yo. I asked if I have said something to upset her. She told me that she has been seeing a guy for a few years and how he beats her at will. Cheats on her. She took the glasses off. Holy shite! She's got a black eye, yo. I suggested that she leave him and report the matter to the police. But apparently it wasn't that easy because he was a well-respected businessman with a lot of money contacts. Plus, he's got the police on his payroll and even worse, he's got explicit videos of her. She also found out that he's got a family. He threatened to show the videos to the world if she ever tried to leave him. He told her that if she even think about seeing anyone else, he would kill her. He gave her a monthly allowance. He doesn't even want her to have any friends at all. She told me that she contemplated suicide on many occasions. Sound like this guy has her under control, yo. I felt so sorry for her. I don't like this guy, man. My generals and angels. Even so, she still wanted to see me again. We exchanged numbers. For the next couple of years, we spent a lot of time together. We had a lot of fun, yo. Things were good between us. She told me it was the happiest she has ever been. We even talked about spending our lives together. Until one day, I tried calling her on many occasions. No answer. Her phone was switched off. It was now a week since I heard from her. I was so worried about her. I was thinking maybe he found out about us and killed her as he promised to. My generals and angels. She was trapped, obligated to all his demands. She was dependent on him, isolated by him with no family or friends to turn to. Her family was all the way in sentence. I was her only friend down this side. I got a phone call from a strange number. It was her. I was so relieved to know that she was alive. She told me that she was in a private hospital, recovering from the damage that the coward had done to her and asked me to come and see her straight away and that she was scared. I told her that I was out of town and I will come and see her first thing in the morning. My generals and angels, I wasn't out of town. But just in case he get her to lure me into a trap. A few hours later, I cautiously turned up at the hospital. My generals and angels, when I saw her, my first thought was, she looked like she was hit by a mock truck, yo. She had a black eye, two broken ribs, a chip tooth, and a fat lip, yo. I felt it to my heart, yo. Only because she told him that she wanted to move on and have a family of her own. This guy has got major issues, yo. He's a lady bad man. He's only got strength for the ladies. I felt like it was my fault. So I formulated a plan for him. If she's brave enough to pull it off. I convinced her to secretly make a video of both of them. 
She was so scared at first, but after weighing up all other options, including suicide, she agreed to go through with it. She managed to pull it off in fine style. She even called his name in the video. No way he can say it wasn't him. Damn, this guy is greedy, how? We were planning to migrate to Canada together. I was unsuccessful in obtaining a visa from the Canadian Embassy. She was successful. I was so happy for her, but sad at the same time that I won't be able to go with her. But she's going to need money for a fresh start. And this guy has got loads of it and a reputation to protect. So she sent him a video of himself being naughty. Then she rang him. He was panicking, begging. Don't do anything silly. I'll give you anything you want. That's what we wanted to hear. She demanded a million dollars be in her account by the end of the week. And her usual 20k every month and let him know that if he decided to put videos of her on the internet she will not hesitate to return the favor my generals and angels i could see how powerful she felt just to have the upper hand for the first time serve him right i didn't like sharing with him anyway she jumped on the next available flight to canada she converted the money in canadian dollars and paid for nursing school in canada we kept in touch for many years. Sadly, I didn't manage to get a visa to go visit her. She became a nurse and got married. My generals and angels, I'm not saying my advice was the right advice, but if she had gone to the police, whose side were they gonna take? The man who pays them or her side? Blackmailing is illegal in any shape or form. Abuse is not right. Sharing other people's intimate videos online because they decided to go their separate ways is called revenge porn and it's illegal yow and should be reported to the police. In her case, she had no help, not even from the police who was meant to protect her. That was her only way out. She got a chance to pursue her career. Not every girl in a situation like that get a chance to accomplish their goals some of them end up in hospital or dead yow our colleague your friend your sister your partner this is happening all over the world yow if similar things are happening to you or anyone you know tell someone report it do something before something do you yow stop violence against women and girls yow my generals and angels Please remember to share this video to raise awareness, like, subscribe and hit up the notification bell. Thanks for watching y'all.